We've all heard of the amusement park called Six Flags Over Texas between Dallas and Fort Worth. But why is it called that? Sam Houston was made first president of the Republic of Texas. The modern day history of what is now Texas begins in the final two years of the 1500s. On April 30th, 1598, a ceremony of thanksgiving was held near what is now El Paso by members of the Spanish Expeditionary Force. The Spaniards provided game, the local Indians brought fish, a Franciscan missionary said mass. The leader of the expedition then claimed all the land drained by the Rio Grande River for Spain. After a century of haphazard missionary work, San Antonio was founded in 1718. Its location and resistance by native peoples kept Texas sparsely populated until the Revolutionary War and then the War of Mexican Independence, when the newly established Mexican government began to allow settlers from the U.S. to claim land there. This led to a population explosion, but dramatically reduced the percentage of the population who were Mexicans, causing instant friction with Mexico City. After several smaller insurrections, the Texas Revolution broke out. The state became an independent nation in 1836. The siege of the Alamo took place that year. However, the newly formed Texas Republic was unable to defend itself against incursions by Mexican troops and negotiated with the U.S. to join the Union in 1845. Texas became a state on December 29, 1845. But let's remember good old Sam Houston on the 185th anniversary of his being made president of the Republic of Texas when the state was just one step away from becoming a state. I'm Dennis Daly.